Our grand dango today is from here in Point Noir. Our competition to nurture young basketball talent is underway in Congo's economic capital. Cedric Sehosolo reports. This is Abi Bamanga, a French Congolese man working in real estate in Paris, France. But he is no longer found in the world of black ticked banquet ball in the Republic of Congo. He is the head of ASOS, the Sports Association for Social Works, which has been organizing a basketball tournament called Street Contest for five years. This year, the tournament is entirely dedicated to children aged 8 to 17. His aim was to encourage young talents to nurture their dream of becoming professionals in their discipline, a dream he had long cherished in his early years. The love of sport, the love of my country, the love of culture simply. I can't come here on holiday or whatever and then do nothing. It's my youth, these children who are seven years old, eight years old, who love this sport. In five years' time, there will be nothing left for them. And what will we have to say? So to continue to give strength to the children, to the young people who are coming behind, I try to be there for the youths. A 17-year-old youth, Lassie Jo, has been believing in it for some time now. Considering the performances achieved, he won the Duke Contest Prize and Christ Borongon at 16 with three points. It makes me happy and it warms my heart because I've waited a long time for this moment. I've worked for it. This kind of competition actually comes with experience. Out of more than a dozen teams in each category, 2-1 in final, Chamin Nord was declared champion by beating BBS 6-0 and CPGOS, who won against GSK 6-9 in the juniors. We are happy to win this tournament. In the future, I have great plans to go far in basketball, to play in America, and I believe God in this. In order to support the initiative, several sports lovers, including former Red Devil member of the national basketball team, as well as members of the Congolese Basketball Federation, took part in the event. This dynamic must continue, and we know how to tell young people not to give up, to continue to be present because there is no shortage of talent, but there is no shortage of infrastructure. In addition to some donations from associations built with goodwill, the basketball court built by the former ELF company is trying to stand the test of time.